Google AI is here. Today, I will show you how to get early access to all features even if you don't live in the US. After all, users from the America can easily test new AI search and other features in the Google Chrome browser. And that's why I decided to show other users from different countries how to activate artificial intelligence in the Chrome browser. For this, you just need to have a Windows PC and repeat after me. Everything is very simple and totally free. So let's get started. So fellas, here we are in Windows and first that we need to do obviously is to download and install Google Chrome browser. For this, I will use Microsoft Edge browser and I will type next Google Chrome download. Press enter and you will see this website. I want to remind you that we need to download Google Chrome browser from the official website. So we will click on it. I will close this message. So now we can download Google Chrome browser for Windows 11 or Windows 10. Download Chrome. Downloading process finish. Now we can open folder and install Google Chrome browser. Double click, select yes. You need to wait about 15 seconds. It will depend on your internet connection. Installation process begin. So fellas, after installation Google Chrome browser, it will automatically show us a new page. Actually, now we can close it. And also we can close Microsoft Edge browser and other windows. And voila, now you may see Google Chrome browser. So the first step was very easy. After this, you need to open it. Move the mouse cursor to the upper right corner, click here and select settings. In the settings, you need to scroll down a little bit and find about Chrome. Click on it. Please be sure that you have the latest version of Google Chrome browser. If you have the older version, you can just click on update and it will automatically update to the latest version. So after you installed Google Chrome browser and get the latest updates, you can proceed to the next stage. And that is we need to sign into our Google account. The easiest way is to type google.com, press enter. In the upper left corner, you will see this option, sign in. So you need to click on it. Now you need to enter your Google account. Actually, it doesn't matter from which country you are. You need to enter your existing email. Don't worry, because after this process, I will show you a simple tip and you will be able to use AI powered by Google without any problem. And yes, even if you don't have US account, it will work as well. My friends, I successfully signed into my Google account and now I will show you one interesting thing. So so here you can type next labs search press enter on this page you will find very convenient website google labs try experiments in search labs and actually it is an ai from google so we need to click on it and oops, now you may see this unhappy message. Search Labs isn't available for your account right now. But don't worry, because right now I will fix this problem. First of all, I want to explain to you why do you see this message. And the simple answer is because you are not from United States. But in our case, we can change location using VPN. I want to mention that we need to use very good and nice VPN and bad news that extension VPN VPN will be not enough. If you will type extension VPN, it will allow you to go to the web store. But the thing is, in the web store, I tried to install several VPNs and the final result was quite sadly. And even five top free VPN doesn't work correctly. I spent hours to find out which VPN will be most suitable. And you know what? I found such a VPN. And for this, we don't need to use web store. So we can close this page. And now we need to type next. Vent scribe. Vent scribe. Then press enter. Also, I want to mention that it is totally free, so you can install and use it without any problem. But to use it normally, you need to registry, and yes, it is necessary. So we need to click on this website. Link I will leave in the video description. 
Here we are on the official website from which we can download this convenient application. On the left side, you may see how this application looks. After installation, you will see this window on your desktop. To download this program, we need to click on download. We see next message, get started with Winscribe. And I strongly recommend to select Windows. Click on it. Downloading process begin. If we click here, you may see that the file takes only 20 megabytes. Good, it successfully downloaded on my laptop. Now we can open folder, show in folder. I will minimize the browser. And of course, after all this process, we need to install this application. So we need to double click on it. Select yes. Now click install. Installation process begin. After installation, you will see this window and now you need to click on get started. And then, as I previously said, you need to create a username, password and enter your email. My friends, believe me, it is the easiest way. And from my own experience, I can say that this software is safe. So for the example, I will type Andre Technology. Now I need to create a password. Confirm password one more time. And enter your email. After you created a username, password and enter your email, you can check or uncheck this option. It all depends on you and select create account. Probably you will see this message, are you a robot? Please enter the captcha below. So you will find the captcha here for MWE. One more time, click on create account. After this process, you need to check your email. And as you can see, I have a new letter from Winscribe. There are two things you should do. Confirm your email. And actually, this is the only thing that we need to do. We need to scroll down a little bit. I'm really proud of you. And now we need to select confirm email. That's all. Your email has been confirmed. You can close this window now. Select login. Enter your username that you previously created. In my case, I will type Andre technology and of course you need to enter your password press enter or click here just wait a sec and finally we are in the application by default you may see Atlanta Mountain and it is suitable for me but if you don't see United States you can click on locations and for the example, you can click on US Central and select Atlanta Mountain. And be sure that you see high signal. I will select Atlanta Mountain. It automatically turns on. Good, we have just connected without any problem. And now we can open Google Chrome browser one more time. Here we are in the Google browser. Actually, after all this process, you will see this message. Try AI powered overviews when you search. So you can click here or you can click on this icon, search labs. But if you don't see this message or this icon, one more time, you can type next labs search and you can click on the same website. Link I will leave in the video description. Yes, fellas, this is AI from Google. Actually, we have three basic options. So let's look on each of them. First option is SGE, Generative AI in Search. Supercharge your search to find what you're looking for in fast, easiest ways. Get AI-powered overviews to quickly get the gist of a topic and easily follow up. Let AI do the heavy lifting for you. Second feature is Code Tips. Get coding tips directly in search. And the third feature is add to sheets. Make planning easier by directly adding search result to sheets. No need to copy and pass. From this moment, we can enable all of these options. I will click here. It is important to agree with all conditions and terms. Select I agree. Do the same process here. Select I agree. After you enabled all of these options, indeed, you can use them. So let's open a new page. I have a tech channel, so let's ask something about technologies. In my case, I will ask about the software. How to install Windows 
11 on an unsupported PC. How to install Windows 11 on an unsupported PC? I will press enter. And look, what do we see here? Get an AI powered overview for this search. So we can click on generate. Just wait a sec. That's how it works. You will see something like this. Here are some steps to install Windows 11 on an unsupported PC. So we have information that we need to download Windows 11 ISO from Microsoft official website, create a bootable USB drive or DVD with the Windows 11 ISO file, boot your PC from the bootable media, follow the on-screen instruction to install Windows 11. If your PC doesn't meet the hardware requirements, you should see a message saying this PC can run Windows 11. You can also also try making the PC supported by enabling TPM 2.0, secure boot and switching to GPT. Microsoft doesn't recommend installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. I want to be honest with you, in this case it doesn't provide us any information how to install Windows 11 on unsupported PC, but I will move forward, I will click here. I will try to ask the same question, but I will make it much shorter. How to install Win 11 on unsupported PC? Maybe we will see another result, but still I cannot say that I see very convenient and useful info. But if we scroll down a little bit, we can see the next message, how to bypass processor requirements for Windows 11. It automatically shows us the best question and if we click on it, the third time we see useful info which will allow us to install Windows 11. Here are some ways to bypass processor requirements for Windows 11. Actually, I used one of these methods and I can say, yep, they work without any problems. To make more easier for us, we need to provide more detail. For the example, first time I just asked how to install Windows 11 on an unsupported PC. But if we provide more detail, for the example that we want to bypass processor requirements or we want to bypass TPM 2.0 then it will give us useful info. Let's ask about something that not exist at the moment. For the example about Windows 12. When Windows 12 will release. Generating. Windows 12 is expected to release in 2024, roughly three years after the debut of Windows 11. This info is relevant. Google is already the best in search industry. And as far as I understand, it also want to be one of the best in AI industry. I know everyone respect their privacy, etc. But if you want to share your location with Google, then it will be very easy for you to search for some items. For example, I will ask where to buy a PC in my city. Where to buy a PC in my city? Yes, of course, at the moment I use VPN, but when the feature will be available for every single country, it will provide me a relevant information about my city. After this, I will just press enter. But this time you may see red icon, get an AI powered overview for this search. Let's click on generate. There are many places to buy a PC in San Antonio, Tejas, including chain stores and other retailers. Literally, it provides info where we can buy a PC using our location. So if we click here, best buy, we can scroll down a little bit. And yes, this is San Antonio because VPN showing this location. And even if we click on the second store, scroll down one more time, we can see the same San Antonio. That's mean if you provide accurate location where you are, it will be much easier for Google to show you where you can buy item or even food or other stuff which you want to buy. It is very convenient. If you are a tech enthusiast and you want to use new AI features, new AI tools powered by Google, you can use them without any problem. Of course, it all depends on you. If this video was useful for you, please like it and I recommend watching this video on how to install Google Play Store on Windows 11 and Windows 10.